Fine, but look at the potential. Karma mid lane, snare onto Oriana. That's instant cocoon, it's gonna hit. Oh, the pick potential from the Rocks Tigers is absurd. Insane. The fact that Jin could open Oriana a, a little bit. Oh, there he is. The brush, there it is. It's Peanut. A lot of damage down. 300 HP on Bengi. They repel the chase. Couple more attacks. The flash. One more Q will get him. And Peanut solo kills for first blood. In this bottom side. That's the lack of vision. There we go. They get him again. Another stun into the room. Into all the damage. And yes, they pick him off. Prey gets Wolf. 2-0 Rocks Tigers. And Ice Faker went in the mid lane. It's so fitting in the fifth game how SKT nearly take both side lane turrets while their mid lane turret is the one that is low. It has been such a close game and Bengi caught by Peanut. And it's Bengi trying to get away. He's only in range for one more shot and he's oh, got to go to Kuro actually. He found other advantages though as well. The shockwave is going to hit Gorilla. He flashed up but not in time. Oh. gets the kill. Now the re-engage though. It snipes on toward the mid laner. Back through the side and out of range of everything else. No Q gonna land for Bengi. Arrow yeah. go in the face, and Prey is not long for the world. There's the kill coming through to Juke himself. Ooh, a 20 the rush Baron. minute Baron. Did Lee know? Sin is alive, but no smite right now for Bengi, and it won't be up in time. Yet. But they don't no, know no, that. No. He okay, 2700, but he can't but he do it with smite. It's gonna be all about it. it. He's in the pit, and it's the kill on the peanut. The Baron might for either side, and it goes to Spep to try to save the game. But it's so many kills coming through for SKT. Spep cannot pick up Bang, and it's a four for zero. What? What? Get a better one next. Say better. Oh, it's Smab getting caught up with this one though. Jumping over to the minions, trying to get away from Bang. Thankfully not slowed by the volley. And he is gonna get his life out of this one. But the Q's gonna land. The tackle, the knockup, they want Kuro. The kick back out of Prey. That's already one. Will it get two? Looks like yes, Bang, he secures it. And SKT on an absolute tear. Looking for more. Faker. Chased by Faker, stays alive. They can help from Wolf. The re-engage Bangy is low. Smab tries to carry the fight. Just a clean two for zero. No stun's gonna land. Is the scaling advantage of that poppy in the Jace match? Definitely because he's just another shockwave right here. Gorilla getting knocked around. Arrow into everything else they could need. A two man knock him. And Bangi wants maybe a bit more, but he bites off more than he can chew. That's one for one. Jungler for support down. But look at this. Duke is invincible, and the bot lane turret's already dead. Maybe not as invincible as we think, though. Still getting worn down. But Sveb goes for a shot onto the back line. Another root onto Duke gets healed up again by the Nami. And just no damage really comes through on this one. But it's going to be the shot and the bang. Deadly flourish picks him up. He's dead. I don't know. But Peanut doesn't know. He doesn't want to face it because he sees three members in the mid lane. This is so created by SKT. The guts it requires to call this Nasher. Faker's half held half on it. If they chase them down, they'd get the kill. They need to get the Baron and get out of there. That's going to be secured. Now is there going to be a fight on the backside? They have all the tools they need. The vision is theirs. Oh, Rocks going are pretty flying aggressive. wide. Turning it back in. Looking for the Here play. This is the fight that could punch Nick into the finals. Pray for Bang. And Bang wins his shock. Blast is not enough. Bangy on the chase. Not gonna get it though. Smeb knocks him back, but it is 5v4. No AD carry for Rox Tigers. SKT do not want to wait for Rox to face sec. Instead, they take the fight to them. Faker, Baron, and Elder. And Faker even takes the Wolves, so Pina can't get the Wolf Spirit Scout when they're trying to save this. They're just burning down that Baron, and Rox can't even check. Not even a chance to let Rox Tigers and Oriana ulti as zoning tools. And they have ward control in Rox's jungle, so if Rox comes to defend, they would teleport behind them. That is something Rox wants no part of, but now it means they have to deal with a quadruple elemental Drake Elder Dragon, which is, if he moves in, Guru and Ray have to be so careful. Poke continues, Bang gets hit for the shock blade, lands, but look at this now. Down to just the inhibitor itself, a knockback, they might catch up, Gorilla, not gonna have it just yet, but Prey caught out and shut down by Bangy. 5v4, and SKT could have another win on this one. Shot. Not gonna land just yet. They're still but going in. Engage the stun against the wall. Peanut could go down to Bangy, getting the kill again as they move on to the Nexus turrets. And it's all the G rope for this one. SK Telecom T1 backs against the wall. Bangy himself 3 0 against Rox Tigers in the series. And SKT punched their ticket to their third world final.